firefighters will not be getting a wage increase, according to the city council. This comes after some firefighters and community members went before the council to ask for that raise tonight. ABC 17's Jillian Furtig has been following this story and joins us now live from the city hall, from the actually the fire department in Fulton. And Jillian, things got kind of heated tonight. Uh, they sure did, Joey. Now, tonight's meeting started with uh, firefighters and communities. They went before the council, like you said, once again asking for a wage increase. Now, just to give you a quick recap, the council approved a starting wage raise from eight sixty-five an hour to nine fifty an hour last month. But many in the department say this is just not enough. One firefighter tonight says they're not asking for a lot; they're just asking for a livable wage. But the council says that it's just not in the budget. They say they already gave them a raise last month. Things got a little heated when the wife of a firefighter called on Chief Dean Buffington to come shine some light on the issues. Now, you may recall he has declined to interview with us uh, the last several times, including tonight. Uh, he did go before the council and address training hours and the equipment problems, but nothing about wages was brought up. Now, when the discussion turned to the high turnover rate of the department, one council member said a high turnover rate could be due to a poor attitude within the department. Now, that sparked some reaction from one firefighter who's also a union leader. He says his guys do not have bad attitudes, that they just want a livable wage. He feels that that is not too much to ask. Now, as for those equipment issues, the council tells me they'll have to look at the budget and see what can be done about the broken equipment in the ladder truck that is out of service. Now, again, Chief Buffington did not want to talk to me tonight, but we did hear from the mayor after the meeting, and we have his reaction of tonight's events. I understand that there, there's frustration on their side. Uh, well, there's frustration on our each side. We would love to give them whatever they re request. Uh, sure, I'd love to pay, be able to pay what Columbia pays. Uh, I don't have the resources for the city, does it? So, therefore, we have to operate within our budget constraints. And The council said they would continue to listen to the concerns of the Fulton Fire Department, uh, but as far as wages go, they say that discussion is over. Reporting live in Fulton tonight, Jillian Furtick, ABC 17 News. Jillian, thank you. Amazing.